Hey, it's uh, Junkman from VintageRock.com. We're here at NAMM 2016 on uh, Media Day. And uh, we're at the EBS uh, EBS booth, and uh, our old friend Billy Sheehan, bass player extraordinaire. A lot of you guys know him. Good All to right, see bro. you, my friend. Thanks for coming by. Um, you've got a brand new pedal and some good gear to uh, tell us all about, if you will. Yeah, yeah. I've got, uh, well, we did a uh, the first uh, signature pedal um, a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and it was one of the most successful pedals EBS ever had. And uh, we're really, really pleased. Um, the best thing about it was, without a lot of advertising, a lot of guys got online, plugged the pedal into the little camera at home on YouTube, and loved what it did. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how the word spread about it. So we're really pleased that it was kind of an organic uh, promotion as opposed to, you know, just an ad campaign. Now, in terms of what it did, tell us specifically what it has that, that other pedals don't have or what it's just, you know, yeah. what kind of a... Exactly. Well, there's, um, from the 70s, I was doing like a dual sound from the early 70s. That's why there's a double output on my bass and it's always been like one amp doing one thing, another amp doing another. Right. Well, eventually that, that turned into a one amp doing one thing and another amp doing two things. So basically I have a regular clean bass tone, which is just like a, you know, regular. So a lot of distortion pedals for bass, when you turn the distortion on, you lose lose all your low frequency because that sine wave starts to get irregular and it just does not have the penetration that the big low end does. So what we did is we put, and some uh, distortion things, they do a little balance control. A little balance control uh, where you turn one side down and the other side up and it works in theory but when you're trying to adjust it, it's tough. So we did a completely separate level for the distortion. So it, still got the original bass tone in there, mm -hmm. so you don't lose your normal bass tone, but you got some wacky distortion on there. If you wanna... so don't you get try all... this part at home, just so you guys know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the idea, and just to, um, we wanted to make a pedal that was, uh, uh, an individual player could really tweak to his own sound, uh, rather than just get, get stuck with one tone. Right. So it's got a loop on the distortion side, it's got a loop on the clean side, as it's configured here, you might see, they got a chorus on the distortion, they got an octave bass on the clean side. So they're completely independent, and they mix together in the output. So, and also the new thing on this pedal, which is uh, something that I'm probably incorrect. I'm sure someone else has done it, but not that I know of. We made the main drive chip swappable, so you can pull that out, get a 4558 from the 70s, right. te Texas Instrument, Raytheon, some, uh, and they all sound different. They all uh, they have different configurations when they but don't they're all sound different. So that's yeah. the best part. So you can really fine tune and tweak out your sound right. so that it's really your unique tone as opposed to my tone or the tone of the pedal. So that's a kind of unique aspect of it. Now for the most part you have everything preset and sound check and you just basically you're, you're yeah. stomping on either one. Yeah, I don't, both set up. I don't do a lot of, and I don't have my pedals out by the by the mic. Okay. All, it's all back by my amp because I, I'll go up, the only thing I'll do is I'll turn distortion on to distortion off. That's it. That's the, my only, well, I I'm setting say, one and setting two. With small, with small <laughs> things, sometimes you know when it's dark you can't quite see it or anything like that. So. And, and I notice whenever I'm watching, um, tell me if you've seen this. You're watching a guy on stage. Yeah, and he's you're looking seeing at the pedal. board, he's pushing, stepping on stuff, moving. Do you hear any difference? I, I never hear any difference. I, I see him doing all kinds of stuff. And I go, it still sounds the same to me. But Not he him. does. He, yeah, he may. And so does the Very monitor well. guy. It's true. <laughs> it, maybe, maybe. But I just, you know, that's, that's, I say that in jest, of course. Yes. But the, uh, for me, I, I like to try to do get most I can out of my hands. Uh -huh. And uh, so I got this here. Uh, I got a little compression in my live setup. Uh, it's a dual signal thing, so uh, it looks more complicated than it, than it actually is. But uh, the EBS uh, tonality is the heart of, of the tone now. Absolutely. It's very it's simple, man. It's it's very very simple. There's not too much. So, um, what's going to be the, uh, the map price on that? I'm not even sure. Yeah. Probably a hundred and... 50, 60 bucks, I think, maybe more. I'm not sure. Very affordable. Yeah. Even for the bass player. Exactly. 
and again, we really wanted to do something. Now, I'm online as a Yamaha Attitude Users Group on Facebook, uh -huh. and a lot of guys also, it, it bleeds over into the other products that I endorse. And, we, and the guys get on with this uh, pedal and explain how they set it up. And actually, they were coming up with ways of configuring that I didn't even know about. It was hilarious. Really? So, uh, and I'm on there answering questions all the time. I'm really hands-on to the people that buy stuff on my recommendation. So tech support, you go directly to Billy. I know, I'm, I'm kind of a, I've, I've shot myself right in the foot here. You're a geek, it's cool. I'm, I'm tech support for the now. world. It's all right, <laughs> it's a good thing, people like it. You know, it's all right. Go yeah. to the source directly, why not? Yeah, and I'm happy to help, you know. I, I uh, My fellow musicians, we're all in this together, so Absolutely. if I can help them out anyway, I'm very happy. So we need more people like you, my brother. Right on. So, uh, where's the website that people can actually go for this particular product, the EBS? This is or? EBS, and so it would be, uh, uh, EBS Sweden. EBS Sweden .com. EBS and then S W E. You can find it. Just, just, just uh, Google EBS base. There it is. While well, we got you here, um, Matt, big successful tour and record with the Winery Dogs last year. Fantastic. It was my number one record. On Great. Excellent. Oh man, thank you. We got you. all these different, you know, different websites that are voting you guys. Like, oh, it's oh, great. The best record of the year. We're, we're Tell us about. Tell us about uh, 2016 for the winery does. Well, th I will thank you very much in the first place, Absolutely. and thanks everybody that's been so kind to us. We uh, we leave on the 27th to start in Cologne, Germany, do some German shows, head over to England, we do Scandinavia, we do the rest of Europe. We come home in about six weeks, short break, and then we're off to uh, Japan, Southeast Asia, South America, Mexico. So we'll be back in the U.S. again, and also back to Europe again, too. So we're working right up until next October. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. And you're going to be playing at NAMM sometime around uh, this weekend, or not? No, I'm just hanging. Just hanging. Yeah. But I'll be at the Lucky Strike Lounge uh, tonight uh, for the free jam. For the big jam. And uh, everybody's going to be there. It's like their one-year anniversary, so it's going to be crazy. You guys made a lot of a lot of waves there when uh, trying to put the David Lee Roth band Woo! back to together again just a month ago and they, uh, they shut the place down? Yeah, it was out of control, it was out of control. So, so any thoughts on uh, doing it in another place or someplace I'm else? I'm ready to time? go anytime, anywhere, anyhow, my pleasure. One more thing, what are you excited about seeing at NAMM 2016 more than anything else? Well, Besides, my, obviously, see, the I pedal, but I mean... I didn't know what color it was till today. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So, uh, and I love it. It's got a metallic copper color. It's very nice. So, okay. I, you know, I've seen the color. I like it. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff. Uh, Line 6 got a new wireless out that I'm using. It's really great. Uh, there's a thing called a Gizmotron, mm -hmm. which uh, makes your bass like a, like a string, bowed string. Checking that out. A thing called a Gitler. Gitler. All titanium metal bars. It's a, actually a bass guitar. And I'll, of course, go see my friends at Hardkey, uh, Larry DiMarzio. Uh, from DiMarzio always has an amazing spot set up in a, in the Hilton yeah. where he brings in amazing wine and prosciutto right. and parmesan. So he and, takes care of the guy. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. And then, of course, the Yamaha and Rotosound. I'll be uh, seeing Rotosound Saturday also. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the companies I endorse. I don't endorse anything unless I really use it and uh, nobody pays me to endorse anything. What's wrong with that, my friends? You heard that directly from him. So. I rest my case, Your Honor. Exactly. So, Billy, always court, a pleasure. Court of internet. <laughs> Billy, always a, a pleasure to Thanks talk very to you. much. Thank you, And again, guys. you know, check All it right. out. EBSSweden.com. Check out this new, new panel. It's pretty amazing. And give, us, right. a little, give us a little... How about... Go by that. Edit point. JumpmanVintageRock.com, 2016, Dan. Great Billy Sheehan. Thank you, bro. Thanks, dude. Okay, man.